we're going to use a kitchen analogy to also set our expectations for how this process is going to look. So we'll dive into the process after the break, which is coming in three minutes, but we'll set our expectations here with this analogy. Say you want to create a recipe for sausage. And there may be vegans in the audience, so we will make it vegan sausage. And the sausage is not only vegan, it must be low calorie, gluten-free, sugar-free, and Michelin star compatible. <laughs> the goal. Our goal is to innovate in the kitchen with recipes. We can afford all kinds of microwaves and whatnot, and we have that in our lovely kitchen. What is the process actually going to look like? Do you know how long it will take to get you that sausage? Can you look up the solution in a textbook and really think through the biochemistry one time and just do it once? Are you even sure that your endeavor will succeed? But how will you go about it? Well, the same way as how you go about machine learning. So let's say a preview of these 12 steps. And of course, uh, I love 12 step programs here way too much. I force all my courses into them and this should really have been 13 steps, so we started step zero to make it work. <laughs> so our steps, a preview of what we're gonna dive into in detail after the break. Step zero to one, asking the right questions in the first place. Like, what are we trying to make? Which customers are we trying to please? What does it mean to succeed at this sausage? Do we have standards? That kind of stuff. Two through four, getting the right ingredients. And when we talk about getting the right ingredients at scale, well, there may be a lot to it. We're not going to, because this course is uh, not a data engineering course, uh, I'm not going to cover that in tremendous detail. I want to give a nod here to how hard this actually is at scale in practice. Data engineering is not a trivial thing. I mean, at small scale, it's can I download the spreadsheet and open it on my laptop? Yeah, sure. It's just when the scale gets big, it becomes quite a sophisticated discipline in its own right. So we're getting the ingredients, we're sourcing them, and ingredients matter, right, chefs? They matter a lot. Just because I have ingredients, I'm gonna be able to have my vegan sausage. True? No, certainly not true. Steps five through seven. Tinkering in the kitchen, trying different stuff, and iterating towards a better recipe. Eight through nine. Actually, maybe taste it first before you subject your customers to it. So, a soft taste test, validation, the chefs in the kitchen are doing it themselves. The testing is a much more rigorous, strict process of should we actually even be putting this in front of customers? 10, streamline your kitchen so you can start serving this. Your productionization step. Because your thing that you made in a bowl is just a prototype, and if you're actually gonna do this seriously and at scale, you need to think about rearranging the kitchen. And that is gonna be quite an investment, which is why tasting it carefully beforehand was kind of important. You need to know whether it's worth arranging your whole kitchen and menu and everything else to be able to serve this dish. Then, actually try it on some customers first as produced by this streamlined process of yours to make sure that the customers like it enough for you to make it a permanent fixture on your menu. Don't just add it to your menu and hope there might have been some bugs introduced into how you arranged your kitchen. Or maybe your customers just hated the dish and you didn't realize that because your prototyping process didn't reveal it to you. And then finally, it's going to be the gift that keeps giving. You're going to have to maintain and monitor this thing in perpetuity, and your world is allowed to change. You were expecting that you can source rice, and suddenly there's no more rice in the world. Well, what are you gonna do about it? What's your plan? I hope is not a strategy, you need a plan, and how do you think through that planning? And that's what we're gonna cover after the break, and I'm here for questions. <laughs>